the holiday season fast approaching, you might be struggling to find that perfect tech gift for someone on your list. We're nearly one week from Black Friday, so what's the best way to take advantage and save a few bucks? For some helpful tips, we're joined by Michelle Gilbert from Comcast. So glad you could come in this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, first off, let's talk about phones. Phones yeah. are becoming a big investment. So yeah. is Black Friday a good time to buy one? And if not, when's the best time to buy one? Sure. So the holiday season is one of the most popular time to buy a new phone. Um, it's estimated that 25% of U.S. adults will buy Ooh. a phone at this time of year. And the biggest reason that they're doing that is because it's, an, it's a popular time to consider whether they finally break down and get a phone for their teen <laughs> or tween. So this is a really, really good time to buy and to get a good deal on a phone. And I would even say that many of the uh, wireless providers, including uh, Xfinity, are starting their Blacks Black Friday offers even this week. Yeah, so it's a good time to save some money. So once you purchase that phone, you want to protect it. So do you do yeah. that with a warranty or do you actually physically protect it with a case and a screensaver? Okay, so I would tell you that a warranty is a personal decision, um, but what is a must do is getting a really, really good case. I brought just one example by Otterbox. There's lots of uh, outstanding brands on the market. The most important thing to remember is that you need to have some shock absorbency. Mm -hmm. So an all plastic case, uh, may not be the best option. It just depends how it how it uh, covers your phone. But you really want something around those corners. I cannot tell you how many times I have literally dropped my phone face forward, but because those corners are lifted and protected, my screen is fine. The other thing that is really important is a screen protector, and you don't even see it on your device, but it does protect the screen from scratches and so for like a $50 investment, you're protecting that screen. And even if the screen protector gets damaged, it's easy to pick it up, take it off, and go buy a new one. You know, I know it's mathematically impossible, but when you drop your phone, 99% of the time it lands screen side down. It I is, know. Uh, it's amazing. I it's know. amazing. It's so Murphy's definitely law. protect it. Now, yes. when it comes to shopping for a phone, you know, what are you looking for and what are people looking for at this time of year? Is it right. for themselves? Is it for, like you say, your teenager? And how is that different in what they're buying? Sure. So uh, they're definitely looking for both. They're looking for their kids. They may also be treating themselves. And there's several things that I think you need to take into consideration. Um, you know, saving money is important to all of us. So I would say that the first thing to consider is if you're not already bundling your mobile phone with your internet service, check with your internet service provider because that is probably going to be the most impactful way to save on your monthly bill. If you are in the market to switch and you're able to shop around with a lot of different providers, um, I like to look at some of the tech blogs to consider what, you know, who has the best deals. Um, but it's not just the price of the device. You also have to look at the quality of the service. You have to look at the price of the monthly service because it all adds up. And then which operating system do you want to be on? So lots of different things to consider. Your teen or tween is probably going to want the very latest and greatest. For sure. Do they need it? Are they going mm -hmm. to use all of those features? So those are things to consider because the more features, the more expensive it's going to be. Yeah, are there any guidelines for when somebody should consider getting a phone for their child? Sure. I would say it's very personal. Um, you as the parent are going to be um, the expert in that. Uh, some people's 12-year-olds are a lot more responsible than some people's 15-year-olds. Um, most teens at this point in their life do have a device. Uh, they need it to stay connected with their parents. I can tell you that when my daughter was a lot younger, I gave, I gave her a flip phone just for safety so that she could call me, and she didn't even carry it because it wasn't a smartphone. Today, I don't even think you can hardly buy a flip That's phone. Right. So, but it's about being mindful. And again, you know, you're putting a very expensive device into your child's hands. Maybe you get the new device for you, and you pass along that one- or two-year-old device to your child. Excellent, Michelle. All right, thanks a lot for coming by and talking about phones, when people can buy them, and some guidelines for buying one for your child. I appreciate that. My pleasure.